Hey, 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 and welcome back to the channel, everybody. How are you all doing? In today's video, I'm going to talk about this custom made catch can that I've built to put in line with my PCV valve, which is enabling me to have a complete sealed system with my engine for positive crankcase ventilation. And I'm going to discuss why I've set my engine up like this and problems I had with my engine before I set this up and why I've ended up building a custom catch can instead of buying one. So let's start from the beginning. Once upon a time when this engine was first built, this is a Ford Cleveland 393 stroker motor. Right from when it was first built, installed into my vehicle and started, my rear main seal leaked. It went back to the engine builder under warranty. The seal was replaced, was reinstalled in my car, started, the rear main seal leaked. And for a, a third time, so first when this was first built and then two times under warranty, the rear main seal was replaced. And guess what? When the engine was started the third time, the rear main seal leaked. This sent me on a bit of a journey because the engine builder was scratching his head, everyone was scratching their head. They could not work out why this rear main seal kept leaking. At that stage, under advice from the engine builder, and what a lot of other people do. The engine just had two breathers on the rocker covers at the front. So the crankcase and the engine pressures were basically ventilated to atmosphere. And most people think that that would be enough. But I can tell you that in this case, and I'm not the Lone Ranger here, that was not enough. Okay, and so it led me on a, a journey of discovery, of reading, to try and help solve this problem or work out what was going on. And basically, I learnt about positive crankcase ventilation, PCV. And how, when a sealed system is um, set up correctly on your engine, you are actually going to then be able to positively evacuate crankcase pressure. Now, the long and the short is, and we'll go into what this is all about in a minute, but the long and the short is that once I'd learnt about that, and once I set up a sealed system, meaning that one half of the engine drew air in via, you know, an oil cap filter, all right? But then the other half of the engine was then able to use the engine's vacuum and then positively extract crankcase gases and pressures. The oil leak stopped. But the problem was that when I first started doing it, it was with a stock PCV valve and no filtering between the PCV valve and the top of the manifold which is where we plug this in to, to get our vacuum to draw and pull gases out of the crankcase. It means that basically you're recycling burnt oil, burnt fuel, gases, condensation, etc., back into your intake manifold, back through your runners, and ultimately you're burning it back through your engine again. Now, a lot of factory setups with cars do that, okay? But we can actually add something in between PCV valve and the intake manifold, which is known as a catch can. Something to capture those that condensation, the, the burnt oils, the gases, the fuel, whatever. That's what the catch can's all about. And I built this catch can because I wanted a small footprint at the back of my motor. For a long time, I've been using one of these cheap eBay catch cans, okay? Which was pretty well rubbish when I first bought it because I have no baffling. They're just an input and an output where your PCV valve goes in one side, the other side then runs back to your intake manifold. So there's no baffling, so really there's nothing to stop um, oil, gases, fuel, etc., just coming back through. So I had to modify this. I had to solder a pipe onto one side of this, drill holes in the pipe, fill this with steel wool, replace the stupid um, sight orifice that was in these, which leaked air and caused this to not be able to to be able to seal. Once I'd modified this, sealed it, so then I had a true sealed system and I wasn't losing vacuum, this worked quite well. But it's large and it has to be at the front of my engine, meaning that I have to run hoses from the back of my engine to the front of the car, then I've got to run them back to the manifold and it was just untidy. I wanted something that would work but would be a smaller footprint. So what I came up with is using a fuel filter, okay? A slightly modified fuel filter. Let me talk about what I've done here. So this is just a standard 3.8 barb inline fuel filter. 
And what I've done, because I knew this wouldn't uh, work just as a fuel filter. Uh, so what I've done is I had a surplus um, glass fuel filter. One of these small uh, sight glass fuel filters. I had that surplus to my needs. So I thought to myself, well, what if I added this into the bottom of a normal fuel filter to, be, to give me more capacity to hold um, the oils and, and what gets extracted from the crankcase and also take advantage of this being glass to be able to see when it gets filled and know when to basically empty this. So all I did was um, drill a hole in the standard fuel filter, an eight millimeter size hole because this older glass fuel filter, the barbs that are on each end of this were 5 sixteenths in size. I needed to cut one of the barb ends off and just leave a little bit of the straight pipe on the end, this end obviously, so then I could insert it into the fuel filter that I drilled the 8 millimeter hole into. And of course the 8 millimeter hole has become the bottom of this uh, fuel filter and it was drilled in this position because I knew by the time this was set up, because my PCV valve sits higher than where the uh, intake is to the manifold, it was going to be on an angle, and I wanted to make sure this was located at the bottom to pick up uh, the oil that was going to accumulate in the bottom here. So now basically what I have is a fuel filter that I've then also filled the back section of this with a coarse steel wool. To cut down the velocity of the oil that's going to enter this, which Ultimately, if it wasn't slowed down and captured some some way, it would just end, end up back into the intake manifold anyway, and you may as well just have a straight pipe. So I haven't used this yet. This is kind of a video out to um, some of my buddies on YouTube that tune into the channel. What do you think about this? Do you think this is going to work? I think it will work. Um, from my experience with that other catch can that I was using and some of the basic modifications I did on that, it worked very well. It would always capture oil. And I had this sight glass um, in this section here by itself to see how the return line from that catch can was going. And I could always see air running through it quite successfully. Vacuum, the vacuum was being pulled back through it, but without excessive oil in the looking tube here. So I think this will work. Okay, so this is just a pretty cheap idea for a small footprint catch can. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit more high maintenance. It's not going to hold as much oil as a, as a larger setup like this. This is roughly a 600 mil catch can. This is going to hold much less because I'll only be able to hold oil to the midsection of this part before it's going to um, fill to the port, the uh, exit port here, and end up back in the um, end up back in the manifold. But that's why this see-through section here of an old glass fuel filter is going to assist me to work out when it's time to pop that blank off um, plug there. That's just a, a blank off plug. It's a heavy duty one. I'll just be able to pull that off, put a little hose on that and empty that into a little container. What do you guys think? This is a high-end tunable PCV valve. Let's talk more about positive crankcase ventilation. I've given you a little bit of an, an overview of my issues that I had with this engine and not just me. Okay, the thing that uh, gave me a little bit of encouragement about this or helped me to realize I wasn't the only one and I was on the right track here in my research is even uh, a car club that I'm uh, a member of here in my hometown. A couple of guys had their Cleveland 351 stroke to 393s and guess what? Right from the get-go, they had leaking main seals. It's probably just the higher compression or whatever from the stroker, the, the bigger stroke, whatever, it just creates more crankcase um, pressure and vent they too were just venting their engines to atmosphere and subsequently of course since uh, me discovering um, the benefits of a positive crankcase ventilation system they've done the same and they've solved their issues with their oil leaks as well and I have no doubt that eventually I would have ended up with leaking rocker covers my front seal would have started leaking on my timing cover I reckon I would have had all sorts of leaks and Positively ventilating my crankcase has uh, solved the leaks and of course it's also very beneficial for getting out the um, blow-by because it doesn't matter how well your engine uh, is sealed as in how well you've bedded in your piston rings etc you are always going to have a percentage of blow-by and a percentage of fuel 
blowing by into your engine, mixing with your oil in the crankcase, causing your oil to become acidic. Um, you get condensation naturally happening in your oil uh, and positive crankcase ventilation helps extract all that rubbish. It can give you a little bit more of an edge with horsepower as well. It can keep your engine cleaner and in my case, it stopped oil leaks. So this PCV valve, uh, 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 originally when I started to try and solve this problem, I was just using a stock PCV valve and no catch can in between. I don't know if I mentioned that at the start of the video, but that was the case. That was working. But while I was researching this, I came across this PCV valve in a forum and I thought I should get myself one of those because this PCV valve, it's, an, it's by a father and son team in America. They call themselves ME Wagner. They, they build this, they engineer it, they're, they're engineers. And this is a dual circuit PCV valve that has a little port in the bottom of it that enables you to screw in a little um, barb and put a vacuum gauge on this PCV valve and it enables you to run your engine at idle, run your engine with some uh, revving, see what's happening with your vacuum gauge and tune the circuit that's in this to get the optimal amount of vacuum pulling through the PCV valve into your intake manifold to enable you to extract the maximum amount of crankcase pressures as you possibly can with your engine vacuum. It is brilliant and um, well worth the purchase. And I will be doing a video when the engine goes back in the car. I'll go through the whole process of how this is tuned with the engine running, etc. We'll do a video on that for anyone that's interested in this. Okay? So what do you think, guys? Give me some feedback. Do you think this is going to work? I think it will with the um, steel wool, the core steel wool that I've basically filled the back of this with. It's still got the filter inside the fuel filter, the original fuel paper fuel filter. The steel wool will just cut that velocity of oil coming into this um, so it's not just belting through. I mean, the paper filter obviously is going to do that as well. But that steel wool in the back will cause that oil and uh, any of the other crud, fuel mix, condensation water. It'll slow that down. It'll cause it to sort of fall to the bottom and ultimately fill this guy up. That's what I'm hoping. What do you guys reckon? I did have to do a custom job here on my PCV valve. These rocker covers never had a hole drilled in the top of them for a PCV valve. They've got um, threaded holes in the front of them. So I had to drill this rocker cover, find a grommet that uh, was the right size for a PCV valve. And in the process, I had to build a little baffle system inside the rocker cover here. Otherwise, this would have just sucked straight oil in the rocker cover. So I've made a little custom baffle underneath here um, to um, make sure that this is mainly pulling gases and condensation and stuff and not sucking too much oil because you end up with quite a lot of oil in the top of um, Cleveland's because of the oil and the priority oiling system with these. Um, so I needed to make sure that was baffled. But I think uh, with that baffle, I know with that baffle it was working with, the, with, with this old catch can okay this was working it's just very untidy in the engine bay this is direct a lot tidier it's at the back of the engine you don't have hoses running everywhere that's why i've come up with this idea and it's cheap and i couldn't find anything else that was even like this that might work okay so as i said all i did was just drilled an eight millimeter hole cut the barb off the end of one of these five sixteenths um, barbs that left a little bit of tube that was enough to basically almost be an interference fit as I pushed it into the fuel filter. Okay, so it can't fall out. And then just with a red RTV sealant, I just sealed around it. The important thing, as I mentioned earlier, with a sealed system using positive crankcase ventilation, you must have your system on one half at least sealed. You wanna bring air in from one half of the engine and you want everything sealed with no vacuum leak so you've got maximum vacuum to help extract your crankcase gases, etc and basically relieve your crankcase of um, abnormal pressures, which can lead to oil leaks. That's it, guys. Let me know what you think about this madness, whether you think thumbs up or thumbs down. Um, because I can always come up with other ideas. If someone's got a better idea that will fit into this small space between my PCV and my intake manifold, I'm willing to listen to that. Until I see you guys in the next video, you guys stay safe, stay healthy, and take it easy out there.